Armenian Genesis begins with steppe Indo-European populations trickling down into Anatolia in the Bronze Age. They descend from an early Indo-European population distantly related to the Indo-Europeans in Europe and Central Asia. While Indo-European Europeans descend from corded Ware Anetis and Bell Beaker cultures, the Armenians descend from Sredni Stag culture, which is a distant relative of those European IE speakers. By the 6th century BCE, Armenia became part of the Achaemenid Persian Empire, divided into satrapies, but with Armenian noble houses retaining influence. With Alexander the Great's conquest, 4th century BC, Armenia briefly came under Hellenistic influence, but remained largely independent, forming the Orontid dynasty, also called Yerbanduni. Following the fragmentation of Alexander's empire, Armenia was caught between Seleucid Greece and Parthian Iran. The earliest Armenian ruling dynasty was the Artaxiad dynasty. Under Artaxias I, much of the lands inhabited by Armenians were united in one country. In 66 BCE, Armenia became a client state of Rome. King Tiridates III converted to Christianity in 301 AD, making Armenia the first officially Christian state. Etchmidzen Cathedral in Armenia is the oldest cathedral in the world. Until the Arab conquest, Armenia was a part of Persian Sasanid world. Despite Arab influence, Armenians managed to maintain their Christian culture and re-emerged as a state under Ashit I, called the Bagratid Kingdom of Armenia. For this video, I gathered 13 genomes of Iron Age and Medieval Armenians. They resemble Mesopotamian, Anatolian, and Caucasian groups ethnically. Kapatam analysis reveals they have a significant amount of Proto-Indo-European ancestry. I ran the 13 samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. The most common predicted phenotypes were East Alpinid and Asyroid. Almost every sample had dark eyes, except for two samples who had blue and hazel eyes. The most common hair color was black, but two samples had dark brown and two samples had light brown hair color. All samples had either olive or light brown skin tone. Every hair shape was observed among the samples. One person even scored kinky hair. The most common predicted nose shape was Greek, but there were four samples with snub nose shapes. Almost every sample had high odds of baldness and low height. The samples mostly had average odds of kidney stones, low odds of hemoglobin E disease, low odds of migraine, average odds of lupus. The samples had low odds of gout, average odds of eczema, low odds of polycystic ovary syndrome, and average odds of cataracts. Among the Armenians, there were samples with high, as well as low predisposition to age-related macular degeneration. The samples mostly had average odds of epilepsy, average odds of asthma, and low odds of vitiligo. The Armenians had average odds of myopia, low odds of corneal astigmatism, and high odds of primary biliary cirrhosis. Regarding cardiovascular issues, almost all samples had average odds of ischemic stroke, atrial fibrillation, and deep vein thrombosis. Most samples had low odds of cardiovascular issues. The samples had a predisposition to the warrior phenotype, marked by low dopamine levels and quick dopamine reuptake. The samples had a predisposition to fewer D2 receptor sites, which leads to lower odds of bipolar and schizophrenia, as well as higher propensity for no-go learning. The samples had average odds of Tourette's, ADHD, low odds of depression, and low odds of bipolar type 1. The Armenians had a predisposition to autism with five samples scoring high odds of autism. Three samples carried European variants for lactase persistence. The Armenians had a predisposition to average levels of empathy. The Armenians weren't particularly athletic, with the athletic C allele in her 577X being only slightly more common than the unathletic T allele. They had higher odds of alcoholism and average odds of syncope. The Armenians had a predisposition to lower odds of obesity. The Armenians had an average predisposition to Alzheimer's, an average predisposition to type 2 diabetes. The Armenians had an average predisposition to epithelial cancers based on 8Q24 genotypes. They had average odds of breast cancer, average odds of glioma, average odds of thyroid cancer, and very high predisposition to testicular cancer based on KITLG genotypes. Moving on to blood cancers, the Armenians had low odds of polycythemia vera, 
and average odds of leukemia. The Armenians had average odds of allergies and carried rare risk variants for certain genetic conditions. The most common conditions that they had risk variants for was Parkinson's disease, Hirschsprung disease, and Fabry disease. The Armenians mostly had low odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes. They had mostly average odds of ankylosing spondylitis, average odds of type 1 diabetes, low odds of multiple sclerosis, and surprisingly high odds of rheumatoid arthritis. The Armenians had high LDL cholesterol levels, shorter telomere lengths, and two samples likely had hemochromatosis based on their predicted iron levels. The most common blood types were O, A, and B, and one person even had the AB blood type. Thanks for watching my video until the end. Leave a like and share if you enjoyed it. Also read the description. There's links to purchase my trait predictor, these Armenian genomes, as well as my DNA services which include CATA modeling and FST analysis.